Welcome to the Wayne State University Fall Semester Commencement Ceremony. My name is David Strauss, and as the Dean of Students, it is my privilege and honor to recognize and celebrate our graduating class of 2020. This year has presented all of us with unprecedented challenges, but our students have shown their warrior strength through their perseverance and dedication. This is no small feat, and their achievements are made all the greater by the difficulties and uncertainties they have endured. I believe there's no limit to what our students can accomplish, and today marks the first of many steps they will take towards securing a brighter future for everyone. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to congratulate each of our students on this momentous occasion. The confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's class of 2020. I would now like to introduce our provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, Lori lozon Klebo. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of these very unusual circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Wayne State is one of the nation's 50 largest public universities with Michigan's most diverse student body. Today, nearly 27,000 students from almost every U.S. state and many countries around the world are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university strengthened by the culture, industry, and the diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations may pursue both knowledge and personal growth. I know all of you gathered here today have been able to experience all that this great university has to offer. You have grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you have all chosen. You have made us all very proud of you. I know that each of you went through a lot to get to this point, but this moment is not only for you, but also for your families and friends who've made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. There is no such thing as a self-made woman or man. We are all shaped by the influence and examples of everyone around us. Family, friends, faculty, all have helped you get to this day. They are all teachers and mentors in their own way. If a supportive member of your life is with you now, please give them a hug, an air hug, a socially distant elbow bump, or whatever is appropriate to let them know how much you appreciate them. If they're not with you right now, sometime today, give them a call. Let them know how much their support has meant to you. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, 
academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 colleges and schools, and others who have taught you in virtual classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the Board, Governor Kelly. Greetings to each of you on this very special day. On behalf of the members of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the Class of 2020 and give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. This has been a remarkable and challenging year for all of you, and your graduation comes at a time when the world around us is undergoing significant change. But we want your graduation and the tremendous accomplishments you've achieved to get the appropriate recognition they deserve. Commencement is the culmination of big dreams and hopes for the future. You've all worked incredibly hard to reach this moment, and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. Wayne State is an outstanding institution, and today you join more than one quarter of a million alumni who call our university their alma mater. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your future success. We know the warrior spirit runs strong in each of you, and as this past year has proven, it will guide you well in future endeavors. Congratulations from the Board of Governors and our best wishes to you and to your families on this wonderful milestone. Now, please welcome Linda Beal, President of the Academic Senate and Professor of Law, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. And greetings to you, our graduates, and your families and friends who have supported you throughout your time here at Wayne. On behalf of the university's entire faculty and academic staff, some of whom are participating in this virtual commencement and some who could not be here. We all heartily congratulate you on your graduation today, an especially significant milestone in this year of difficulties caused by the global pandemic. You have succeeded through your studies and your research with excellent faculty in your field and with the support of our academic staff, all of whom have invested in your success, both here at the university and in your future life. We hope that you will continue your pursuit of learning, and we look forward to hearing about your next endeavors, your adventures in discovery, and in engaging with the world around you. Please keep in touch with us. You can tweet us, Facebook us, email us, call us. We are eager to know what you are doing in your life. Those messages from our former students gladden our hearts and they make even the toughest days brighter. So once again, congratulations. I and all the faculty who have worked with you in your studies here applaud you and we wish you success in all that you do. Thank you. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State's 12th president, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations. If we were all in the Fox Theater right now, as we would have preferred, you would have seen the room crowded with all the people so happy to celebrate your success. Parents, siblings, spouses, children, professors, and advisors. So until we can offer you that in-person experience, you have to imagine those crowds smiling and cheering for you now. We are so very proud of you, and it is my honor and privilege to share this moment with you. The class of 2020 will forever hold a special place in Wayne State's history. You've weathered unprecedented challenges over the past nine months 
because of this pandemic that has altered life as we know it. More than perhaps any other graduating class in our 152-year history, you have proven yourselves as warriors, strong, persistent, creative, adaptable, courageous, and kind. You understand better than perhaps any generation in a very long time how the unpredictable can suddenly rear up and change our lives. Many of you grew up in a post-9-11 world when you might have turned on the morning news to see planes crashing into skyscrapers. You survived multiple recessions. You have reckoned with a deadly virus that swept the globe and took hundreds of thousands of lives. You have borne witness to a national awakening to the systemic racism that still plagues this country. The class of 2020 has endured all this trauma. But you didn't just endure. Many of you have thrived, finding an inner calling to become social justice activists or healthcare heroes or simply more thoughtful, better informed neighbors and citizens in your communities. The world is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable. This will never change. You, however, have changed. I wonder if you realize just how much you've changed since you first arrived on this campus. You are better equipped to face that world and thrive and make it a better place because of your time here at Wayne State University. You've learned from the finest faculty who have stretched your intellects and challenged you to push yourself further than you ever have before. You've worked incredibly hard to the point of exhaustion. And by living and learning in the heart of Detroit, you have learned what it means to be a compassionate and engaged member of your community. Industry, intelligence, integrity. These are the words engraved in the Wayne State University seal. And those are the gifts you carry with you as you enter the next chapter of your lives. It may be hard to see in such dark times, but even now, incredible opportunities will present themselves. And because of your time at Wayne State, you are ready to take advantage of them. Louis Pasteur once observed, chance favors the prepared mind. Each of you is prepared for whatever life may bring. And for this reason, I am confident for our shared future in America. Congratulations once again, Class of 2020. You are warriors in name and spirit, and I wish you nothing but the very best of life. Thank you, President Wilson. Now we begin the traditional part of the ceremony, the formal acknowledgement of the candidates for degrees and the conferring of those degrees. I would like to ask Provost Klebo to join us to present the candidates. Mr. President, over 3,100 students were eligible and applied to graduate during the 2020 spring, summer, and fall semesters from our 13 schools and colleges. These candidates will now be acknowledged for their degrees by the Dean. From the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts, the Master and Bachelor degree candidates will be presented by Dean Matthew Seeger. Dean Seeger. Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts, I have the honor to acknowledge these exceptional candidates for the degrees as listed in the commencement program. Ladies and gentlemen, now the most solemn moment of commencement as the President confers the degrees. Mr. President. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the President by the Board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. 
Thank you, President Wilson. For all those who are with us today, please join me in congratulating all of the graduates for their efforts and accomplishments. Back to you, Dean Strauss. Thank you, Provost Claybo. I would now like to welcome Dean Seeger back to address the graduates from the College of Fine, Performing, and Communication Arts and to introduce their speaker. Thank you, Dean Strauss, and congratulations to the exceptional graduates of the College of Fine, Performing, and Communication Arts. You are creative warriors. You have accomplished a very important milestone at a difficult time. You will go forth as actors, designers, choreographers, dancers, journalists, and filmmakers to make the world a more just and beautiful place. From the faculty and staff of the College of Fine, Performing, and Communication Arts, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, President Wilson, Provost Cabo, Dean Matthew Seeger, and the College of Fine, Performing, Communication Arts for this amazing opportunity. I am a proud graduate of the College of Fine, Performing, and Communication Art, and I will be graduating with a degree in public relations and new media. I overcame a lot to make it this far. I grew up in a neighborhood that was full of violence and drug use, and waking up every day to the scene, I knew I had to make a change in my life so I would not become a product of my environment. My parents pushed my siblings and I to become better each day. I was serious about my education, but my journey to this point was tough. From losing my father and my grandmother, the beginning of my junior year of college, to challenges that were faced academically. But the part of my story that I love the most is that I had the hardest working parents that believed with believing in yourself, hard work, manifesting the dream, your dreams and envisioning the dream that you want. You can do anything. So for the next few minutes, graduates, I want to take you on a journey. And by the end of this journey, I want you to know that unless you dream, you cannot achieve anything because every plan starts with a dream. You might be asking yourself, how do I dream when my vision looks so far away? How do I dream? when there's so many trials and tribulations going on in my life? How do I dream when there's a pandemic going on, not knowing when or if it will be over? Well, this is how you dream. The first step is to have confidence in yourself and believe in yourself when no one else does. How many people know that your lack of confidence can lead to your failures because they can? See, someone once told me, that you don't get what you want in life. You get what you are. And once people start see that you have confidence in yourself, the sky is the limit. And when the sky is the limit, I want you to shoot for the stars. The second step is to envision the dream, envision the dream that you want. In order to envision the dream that you want, you have to write down your goals, but write your goals in pen so no one can erase them. And the final step that I want the class of 2020 to do is to manifest your dreams. You have to speak victory with what you want in life because your words are powerful. You have to speak words of affirmation to yourself even when you are in your darkest times. You have to tell yourself that I can do anything that I set my mind to and that I'm powerful beyond my wildest dreams. Because once you start speaking over yourself, Doors will open and opportunities will overflow. I'm going to leave you with this. Your dreams does not have an expiration date. So if things do not go your way after we leave Wayne State today, I want you to stand, take a deep breath and try again because your dreams matter. Your vision matters. Most importantly, you matter. See, your dreams and your vision is what will make the next generation better. So to the class, Wayne State class of 2020, I want you to keep dreaming, keep pushing, and keep believing in yourself because it's your time now to make a change in this world because warriors, we need you.
Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Go ahead and cheer. Good job. And now, I would like to introduce Peter Caborn, Associate Vice President for Alumni Relations and Advancement Services and Executive Director of the Wayne State University Alumni Association to welcome the university's newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Caborn. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but you leave as so much more. You're powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. When the world drastically changed this year, you were nimble, flexible, you pivoted, and you stayed focused to the finish. It was no easy feat, and that makes reaching this point of graduation even more significant. As you move your tassel from student to a graduate of the class of 2020, you also move into the Wayne State alumni community, and we are honored to have you. You now join more than 283,000 people who've also succeeded and continue to succeed. There are Wayne State alumni in every corner of Detroit, in every part of Michigan, all across the country, and all around the world. No matter where your journey takes you, you will find a Wayne State connection. We also hope that you will stay connected with us. We offer many programs and opportunities for our alumni, including ways to give back. Perhaps you're interested in mentoring students who are following in your footsteps or connecting with alumni in your career field. The Alumni Association offers this and much more. And we want to know what you're doing too. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. Keep in touch with us and view everything that we have to offer you via our website at alumni.wayne.edu. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Mr. Caborn. Thank you, parents, families, friends, and most of all, graduates for joining us in this wonderful celebration. And once again, congratulations, class of 2020. Mm -hmm.